Hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, in front of me by here, I got a headline, and the headline is from the Daily Fail. Now, I know I shouldn't read the Daily Fail, I shouldn't read it, but um, it popped up, and the headline caught my eye, and I thought, let's have a look, let's, let's do a little bit of research and see what's going on. So, are you ready for the headline? Prepare yourself. Is this the end of the EV? Ooh, right, with a question mark. <laughs> As Tesla and BYD's car sales plummet and Apple pulls the plug on its e-car project, has the boom in electric vehicles finally short-circuited? Now, the Apple thing was ages ago. That was ages ago. That wasn't like today. It was ages ago, right? No. When I see these headlines, I like to look around and see what's going on. I, uh, journalism nowadays is a bit rubbish. Well, not, uh, I'll tell a lie. They paid to write stuff like this, basically. They paid to write stuff like this. Now that's had, it's had 793 comments. Do not go and look at the comments because <laughs> it'll make you feel sad. Looking at the comments on it, it'll make you feel sad. It's comments like electric cars are only good for going to the shops. Most people, the shops, for most people, is a few miles away. What the hell? And he, so this guy said, it's only good for the few, sh going to the shops and back, and you've got to recharge the car. What kind of people are these? What kind of people are these, honestly? Right, anyway, so, right. Let's get to the nitty gritty. It says, Tesla sales and BYD sales of plummeted. Now plummeted, you'd think that they've sold hardly any cars, but I think Tesla sold something like 360,000 cars in the first quarter. Now, I know that Elon Musk is a bit like a Marmite type of person, and there's a couple of reasons why. He did say that the, his Tesla sales were going to be a bit lower this year, and there's a few reasons why. They've had the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y out for a while. It's getting a bit stale. Even though they refreshed the Model 3, the model's are getting a bit stale. Um, and some people don't like Elon Musk. He does get on the nerves, so that stops them from buying Teslas. Um, uh, it wouldn't stop me buying a Tesla, but for some people it does, okay? Um, now, so what's going on? Are all car sales gone down? Are, are they all gone down everywhere? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a butcher's, okay? So let me go and look at another story and just see. We're gonna go over to America because most of the car sales for Tesla are probably in America. So let's have a little squint. Let's have a look. So let's have a look. I'll open this page by it. Now this is, I gotta get rid of the cookies. <laughs> right. Kia, different type of headline, Kia US EV sales more than doubled in March 2024. Ooh! Now, that wasn't in um, <laughs> the Daily Fails headline. It was just, it just focused on the negative. It didn't, it didn't look at any other cars. It only looked at the ones that have gone down. To make the headline relevant, it's only looked at the cars that have gone down. But was Kia US EV sales the only ones that doubled in March 2024. Well, let's have a little look. Let's have a butcher's. Right, what's this one here? Hyundai. Hyundai US. EV sales doubled in March 2024. Bloody hell. <laughs> the Ionic 5 and the Ionic, Ionic 6 sales accounted for nearly 7% of the total volume. Um, so Hyundai Motors reports sales and, was it sales in March up 2% year over year? Q1 sales, it's all, it's, all, it's all about all cars. But the headline is that the US EV sales for Hyundai doubled. It didn't go down, it didn't plummet, they went up, they doubled, they doubled. Right, I know I'm getting a bit over enthusiastic, <laughs> but here's another headline, okay? Ford, now, everybody's been telling me that Ford are stopping selling electric cars, okay? Not not everybody, the, the aren't EV people. This is the headline. Ford, EV sales almost doubled in Q1 of 2024. 
to over 20,000 vehicles as EV vehicles. So, what's going on then? The, 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 the Daily Fail has said electric car sales are plummeting, but I've just found three, and they're all pu published today. I found three that have gone up, up. And I'm not saying they've gone up everywhere, but you can see how a clever sort of headlines can make loads of people think that it, EVs are over. It's the end of EVs. If you do go in the comment section of the Daily Fail, they'll all go in, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Now, another thing to say is this, is Tesla sold, has sold millions and millions of vehicles. And they sold over 300 and, I'm just guessing, I can't remember the exact number, 360,000 EVs in the first quarter of 2024. So that means there's more Teslas on the road, not less Teslas, there's more. <laughs> So it's, it's more EVs on the road, not less. So it's all a bit of a bullshit sort of story, isn't it, really? It's a daily fail strikes again. But I can see how people who don't like EVs, who are not interested in EVs, think that... I can see by the headlines like that, how they think in a particular way. Um, and I suppose that headline goes... That's their narrative that they want EVs to fail. So they probably dismiss any sort of positive things. And also their feed will always show them negative stories. It probably don't show them positive stories because that's how Google works. It shows you what you want to see, what you're going to click on. It shows you what you want to, what, what it expects you to click on for more clicks and views. So that's just the way it works, isn't it? Um, so there we go. That's just my take on certain things. Uh, I did think that Teslas were going to sort of plateau out a bit uh, eventually. Now, when the, the Model 2 comes out, I, I expect it to go back up again. But until then, I think it's going to be a bit stale until that happens, um, which is, I think, probably they, they're headed for early 2025, I think, which is still a way off. So I think sales are going to be down quite a bit this year. Anyway, that's my take on the Daily Fail headline. What do you think? Put it in the comment section below. Don't go and look at the comments <laughs> on the Daily Fail article. Don't do it. Don't do it. It'll rot your brain. I'm telling you, it'll rot your brain. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoi! -ho